here we will discuss about the advanced structure analysis and design concrete and steel structure. So we go through about the concept of the structure analysis for the design itself, the codes and the standards that cover the design for concrete and steel structures. And also we cover about the uh, different book which it will be published about the reinforced concrete structure reliability. So we need to discuss about the reliability and also the evaluation assessment by new technique for using non analysis and bush of analysis to evaluate in the existing structure. This is my publication, which is a reference for my uh, this online courses, and also it will be included in the www.readyman.com. If you need an inquiry or have or need any information, let me know. Type. So our course, online course, it will be the reference from this two book, cover about the reliability and the cover about the evaluate and assessment for all type of the structure by using advanced technique for the structure analysis and the design. The content of this course, we first we discuss about many engineering firm or many engineering designers, there's more a conflict between the designers, the consultants, the contractors, the owner, and so on, because the, the concept, it will be disappear from our hand. So we need to about the core. For example, we have on our study or our college university, we have deterministic study. So we have to design, for example, we have load resistant factor design, 1.4 that multiplied by dead load, 1.6 by far love load, and then in case of American code, it will be reduction factor for the strength or gamma partial safety factor for the steel and concrete in case of the European or British standard. From who is this number? From whom 1.4? From whom where 1.6? So in this case, we need to define from where this number coming from to know about the concept to deal with our design very flexible and also the connection between the design and the construction and the quality control, all it will be matched together. We will connect it in this type of the course. So if so, it will be benefit from the construction, we make construction on site know what about the in the mind of the engineering who makes the design and also for the quality control know what about the construction what about the engineering itself what in his mind and so on so it will be valuable content for this so another one we talk about the reliability concept construction reliability which is based on the code and also cover about the structure probability of failures so we cover it in more comprehensive detail about this and then from this we make comparison between what is the best what is more conservative uh, how can i deal with different code and so on from british standard american standard or european standards we talk about the concept not for detail difference but our the concept how can we deal with them the another one about the loads affecting the structure different load affecting structure and also we to, to go more comprehensive about the type of this load from where we obtain the number of the live load for residential building, domestic, and so on, and how can we deal with load more flexible. So it is not like a college, it's not like know how these factors it will be commonly formed to be more flexible when you are dealing with the structure itself and understand the phenomena behind. Some of the load really affecting the structure and you need to be more concentrated about which a thermal effect and the fatigue stresses. How, what about its phenomena? How can we calculate it? How can we do analysis for this and so on? It will be covered by a separate lectures. Then we go through about the redundancy of the structure, about the, the difference between load resistor factor design, about working stress design, about allowable stress design, what's different between them when you use them, and then go to about the different structures type and the plasticity, method of plasticity, how can we work with the method of plasticity. And then we will go to through nonlinear analysis technique and collapse analysis and also the bush of analysis which is most traditional used in case of evaluating of the existing structures. So we need to have go to through the concept for the another courses about when the structure is all the structure it is not match with the code but still existing. Okay, why? This is a big question. 
okay we know that the code it will be different and have an aging structure but still alive how it comes so have a definition that it will be violate the code and we don't to say that the structure will be unsafe how can the structure withstand how many time can be stand what about the remaining time it can be done by using the bush of analysis bush of analysis mainly you know we need to know exactly about the non-linear analysis about the redundancy of the structure what the mean of the redundancy of structure what about the degree of freedom freedom of the structure so we go to from the concept until the advanced method then we need to define about the reserve strength ratio rsr for any structure by using the pushover, what about this term, how can be used and useful for us. I wish this course can help us to understand more deeply about the advanced methods, a technique for structural design and, uh, and analysis. And if you need any data or have any inquiry or have need any articles, publication, anything, just have this is the email and this our website have the publications and some blogs and photo and so on. If you have any inquiry or need any data, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you a lot and enjoy our online course. Thanks a lot.